Hey there. So I came across this interesting new tool on my Twitter feed, and I thought I'd try something different and just record myself checking it out for the first time. Um, it's a particularly interesting sounding tool that I think is very appropriate uh, and timely at the moment, considering the circumstances. Um, with so much of us teaching and learning from home, um, we spend a lot of time in Zoom and Google Meet and Microsoft Teams and Skype conferences and calls. And one of the biggest problems I see, especially with teachers and students trying to run live synchronous classes online, is noise and background noise. And there's the constant reminder for people to mute and unmute and mute and unmute their microphones. And it's just kind of an annoying part of the process. Um, and so here is this tool, which apparently has been around for a while. I'm just learning about it myself, but it's called CRISP. And it is an AI tool, artificial intelligence tool, that uh, smartly removes background noise while you're in any of these apps like Zoom or Google Meet, etc. Um, so here's their website. It's just crisp.ai, crisp with a K. And um, you can read about the tool. And I was really intrigued as I looked through the site when I got to this section right here, where they give you some um, examples showing the tool actually in action. So let me play it for you. So um, tell me if this is familiar, if you're ever on a call or in a live class, and this is the kind of noise you're hearing in the background. Good morning. Uh, I'm just calling to remind you that we have a Obviously, very distracting to have all that conversation and sound kind of in the background. But um, let's enable Crisp during this, and we'll see what a difference this makes. Meeting this coming Thursday at 10 a.m. in our office. Be sure to send me all the necessary files and the... Dis it's a pretty impressive change, um, all by using this AI kind of algorithm to remove all that background noise. Um, this one really hits particularly close to home for me as I have a three-year-old and a six-month-old in the house, and I'm trying to be on calls all the time and the often hearing things like this. Is that we have nodes that have some connection between them. This is but again, if we turn the canceling on... The they form. To get a neural net to do something, you trigger a no it's a pretty impressive difference. Um, so anyway, you could come to their site and take a look. I'm going to go ahead and download this and install it on my MacBook here. And we'll take a look at how it works exactly. And then I'm going to test it out uh, a little later today when I run a live PD session. And uh, I can report back in the comments about how well it worked. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through the installation process. Okay. Okay, so the installation is done. And I see this up in my taskbar up in the top here. Um, sign in or sign up or test. I'm just curious. I'm going to click test right now. Uh, say something in a noisy place. Well, this actually won't work for me. I'm in a pretty quiet spot right now, so I'm not really going to notice it. So I won't bother with that. But I am going to click on sign in, sign up. Okay, so I'm now signed in. So that was pretty quick and easy. I can come back in here, start the setup. Um, and the app that I use most frequently is actually Google Hangouts or Google Meet. So I'm in my settings right here, and it seems to have configured it automatically, which is nice. I'm using a Yeti microphone, so it's automatically detected that, and it has the noise removal on. For output, uh, yeah, I was using my built-in speakers, and I want to remove the noise that's coming in. Um, so, all right, that looks good. So I think I'm ready to test this out in an actual live Google Meet, which I will do. And uh, I'll post to the comments and let you know what I think. Um, one other thing before we finish up here is this which is Crisp did introduce a free tier, which is nice, um, which should actually work pretty well. Um, it gives you 120 minutes per week. So for the typical um, student, I mean, it depends. It depends how frequently you're online, but um, that's a good chunk if you're doing just a few calls or a few classes per week, that should work. Um, Additionally, they do have a free tier now for the current situation, which is, um, I think, if I come into the details here, 
Um, so we get unlimited students, teachers, hospital, government uh, get unlimited uh, for free. And let's click on that and see how long that's going to last for. So six months. So it looks like that'll get us through the current school year at least. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we go from there. Um, but again, it looks like a pretty neat, promising tool. So I'm going to check it out and we'll see what we think.